It's Wednesday, and this is the Ramsey Call of the Day. Part of the Ramsey Network. All right, let's go out to Los Angeles, California, and talk to Alex. Hey, Alex, what's going on? Hey, um, I have a situation here at home. Uh, I'm living at home. I, uh, I live with my mother and her boyfriend, and um, I'm having problems with them at home. It's not a good situation. I've been having fights with them, and how old are you? We're not really. Tough. I'm 29. Oh, I'm 29. Yeah, move out yesterday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, yeah why, that's what I was. Why are you still uh-huh. living there? Well, because I was living in Washington. I was uh, living on my own, but uh, things happen. Um, we don't do vague and cryptic on this show. Yeah. What things happened? There's a reason why you're living there. Why are you living there? Well, because I I, I didn't I was I didn't do well in Washington. I made a lot of mistakes, and I had to move out okay. uh, from my apartment. They were evicting me, and so I came back, and I had problems with my father. That I was living with him for a while, and then I came with my mother because when COVID hit, I, I uh, they kicked me out. And so so hold on hold on hold on hold on. So you're living there because financially you can't live on your own. I, I suppose I can, but it would be with like in a room or like a garage converted. Okay, Alex, do you have do you have addiction issues? No. Okay, so there's something that is following you around that happens to be you. What are you bringing to all these situations that are making it hard for people to live with you? I don't know. I suppose I just... Alex, people have told you, man. Okay, so you get get angry? You get frustrated? I get upset with them, yeah. Okay. Have you ever sat down and talked to somebody about it before? Not really. I never thought that it was something that I wanted to or I should have needed to do. So what I would tell you is just if you step back and look at the data that life has presented you, I would Uh tell you that getting angry, getting frustrated, results in, for whatever reason, your response to different situations, whether it's in Washington, whether it's with your dad, now it's with your mom and her boyfriend, you are the common denominator there. And I'm not going to beat you up yeah. for that, but I want you to say, I can continue to go to place to place to place and be the common denominator, or I have reached a point where I need to go talk to somebody, preferably, preferably a professional, to get some insight into what tools am I not bringing to these situations, or what am I contributing to my continued inability to get along with other people that we live with, right? So that's not why you called, but I do think you are worth getting to the bottom of those questions yeah. okay but get out okay. get out what's keeping you from getting out is it a good paying job is it the fact that you could live in a converted garage or a one room deal with somebody else and you just don't want that or you can move to kansas and rent a three-bedroom apartment like what, what are, why are you stuck there yeah well i guess because i want to say it's my home um uh, you, you know my family is a it's a immigrant origin family. Yeah. Um, ever since I could remember, like literally, ever since I could remember, it was from one house to another, from that house to another, mm. from one apartment to another, and we finally landed here, and and it, it sucks because you know this is where I have a lot of my memory since I was eleven years old and. I, I don't know. It's hard for me because I'm going to miss it. Yeah. You know, this is where I've had a lot of my memory. Yeah, yeah. I get that. And, and I, I don't want to in any way to minimize that. Yeah. But you called us saying, hey, I, I, I'm 29 years old. I'm living with my mom and her boyfriend, and we're fighting, and I want to get out. And we're telling you, get out. And the way to get out is, one, we got to have the financial means to do so. I think you have the financial means to get out. I understand it's going to hurt, but you can come back and visit. And I would suggest to you that if you take John's advice and you begin to get some help and get healthy, we can visit. We can come back and we can still uh, uh, hang out in that house and have a better relationship with mom in a place of wonderful memories. But you're 29. You need to live your own life. 
And so it's time to move yeah. on. And I understand it's not going to be perfect, a converted garage or whatever. I understand. But here's the deal. It's progress. And if you if, if yeah. you decide to move out and you go, this is just a stepping stone for me, and, and I'm going to take that that desire to not be a tumbleweed as my life is presented to me. I've had to move from place to place to place. That's made me feel very unstable and all the things, all that stuff. I mean, my heart breaks for you on that. And I think that's real. But you can decide to say, I'm going to change the pattern. It stops with me, but it starts by me getting out of the house, getting healthy, and creating my own path. How does that sound, Alex? Uh, that sounds great. That's really what I want to do. I really want to uh, become, become not only just financially, but in life stable. Yeah, uh, I, I do want to. I do want to enjoy life in all hey, aspects. Good for you. I do have. I do have more than just one goal. Yes, and. I, I can't do it in this in this uh this in this space in this situation. Love it's it. a very negative. That's right. It's just very negative. That's right. Uh, m- my question was though is that um, I do want to learn a trade mm-hmm. because I think with learning a trade, I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but I I, I have better means of a uh, financial. Um, Absolutely right, situation. Alex. What trade are you most interested in? Well, I was thinking in carpentry. Fantastic. Are you talented with your hands? So you've always been kind of, even if it's a rough, t- I mean, if it's it's an undeveloped skill, but you're pretty good at building things, fixing things, putting things together. You got that talent? Yes or no? I like doing it. I, I didn't ask you if you like it. I said, do you have some talent at it? I are mean, you, let me tell are you. Are you good at it? I, I'm a guy who can barely hammer a nail. All right? It's just full confession here. I'm I'm a disaster. No talent. My brother, guy could build stuff out of a piling. You know, yeah. he, he's unbelievable. Uh, do you have the talent, Alex? Can you build stuff? Do you have that construction, that carpentry-type talent? Yeah. Uh, I guess not. I don't know. What do you mean you don't um, know? You do know. If I talk to people who know you, would they say Alex has always been pretty good at his hands? He was just always natural, knows how to use a saw. He can fix a little thing. He can do some trim. Come on. Yes or no? Do you have the raw talent? Yes or no? Yes. All right, then. There we go. Then pursue that trade. That's all I wanted to know. It wasn't a trick question. I just want to make sure you're not delusional. I want to make sure you got that talent because if you got the raw talent, John, I can develop the skill. Hey, listen, right. go sign up for a trade school. Here's the thing. Why don't you drive around a couple construction sites in L.A. and walk up and go, hey, my name's Alex. I'm here to work. I've held down a great job. This is who I am. I'm responsible. I got my driver's license. I want to learn the trade. I'll start doing anything. I'll just start shooting three-quarter inch plywood up to the second floor. I'll be a laborer. That's what I did, John, uh, in one of my sophomore uh, – not one of my <laughs> – my sophomore summer in college. They need laborers. Get in. Get on the work site, and the next thing you know, they're going to hand you a hammer. And they're going to teach saw. you how to do it. That's they're right. going to teach you how to do it. Come on, Alex. Take control of your future, man. And listen, Alex, when you are a part of an immigrant family, when you move from house to house to house to house to house, that being untethered, that frustration, that anger, man, you're not by yourself. Go see somebody. Yeah. Go talk to somebody and say, hey, I need to learn some skills. Okay? You're worth it. Your family's worth it. And your future legacy is worth it. Thanks for tuning in to the Ramsey Call of the Day. Check out all of our podcasts. Just search Ramsey Network on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.